River Bridge. We're uh, left Science Park. We're coming up to the new Leachmere Station. This is the South Head House. This is the platform. And this is the new North Head House. Wow, you are going fast tonight. <laughs> this is proposed new uh, North Point Development Building that uh, may happen in the future. You'll see as we come around here, there's a sound wall on the uh, north side. That's for the uh, glass factory condominiums. This is the Hampton Inn. This is the brand new 22 Water Street that's under construction as we speak. It's a very large building going in there, uh, right alongside the narrowest part of the corridor. We are right up against their parking ramp. Uh, we're coming up to the highest part of the viaduct. This is the route to go to Union Square. That's a signal bungalow. Uh, coming up down here is our emergency egress path, part of the future community path. You can see that uh, uh, ducks down under and goes to Union Square. That's coming back from Union Square. And again, uh, we're going to come up. Here's another sound wall on the viaduct. Uh, and this is the emergency egress future community path on the right. So we're coming uh, now off the highest part of the viaduct, coming down the grade. Uh, the community path, the emergency egress path crosses over, then goes into Washington Street Station on the uh, west side of the corridor. These are the leads coming out of the yard, and this is how we feed trains up and get foot trains away at the end of the night. Uh, these signal bungalows are to run the, uh, the signals and the, and, and the uh, switches. Um, we've got a lot of greenness here we're going to get rid of eventually. But, uh, um, this is the emergency egress off the end of the platform, and this is the platform coming. And what's unique about Washington is this is where we introduce the commuter rail into the corridor. We now have both Green Line and commuter rail running side by side, starting here at Washington Street Station. So this is commuter rail over here. You see a fence down the middle. Between the two, we're rebuilding the Washington Street Bridge completely. And this will give you a good idea. We have examples of Harvard Street, and we have examples of what you see up at college and other places. Uh, uh, again, this is coming up the cross street. You can see a fairly large retain, uh, sound wall on the south side. On the east side, we have a retaining wall and a sound wall. Uh, this is the community path as we go under McGrath Highway. The future community path, you can see uh, a fairly large retaining wall with an acrylic top on the right. Uh, this is uh, Walnut Street uh, we're coming up to. Uh, we've got an existing retaining wall. And again, the uh, future community path is following us on the uh, left side of the screen here. We duck under Medford Street Bridge, which gets completely rebuilt as part of the project. And then this is coming into uh, Gilman Station. And we'll stop at Gilman for a brief... Uh, let some passengers on and off. We're going to leave uh, Gilman. This is the emergency uh, egress path to get out of Gilman. Again, another fairly large uh, structure. We've got to get up 25 feet to get out of the corridor there. Again, you'll see retaining walls. And again, if you think of the 20-foot rule Jason talked about, on this side, uh, the, the retaining wall acts as a sound wall on that side. Um, here's a place, this is a little parkland. The path actually moves away. It then comes back in very close again at the V&A building. Um, uh, sound walls on the right. A, a bit of an existing retaining wall that's being built for the current uh, out build, out build out of the community path. And then we're arriving at Lowell Street Station. Um, here and again, most of the stations you drop off the bridge, drop down onto the platform with the exception of Leachmere and uh, and Washington. Again, emergency egress out of the corridor. You can see we've got a way to get out of the corridor there. Um, again, just retaining walls down through here. Um, this is uh, Central Street. And then between Central and Broadway, again, retaining walls with sound walls on top. Uh, this is Broadway. Broadway gets completely rebuilt as part of the project. And now we're into the section we're here to talk about tonight from uh, from uh, Ball Square Station up to uh, college. So you'll be the first ones to take a train ride from Ball to college. So again, these are the phase, uh, some of this gets built in the final, but most of this is being built as part of the phase one walls. 
Uh, you can see we have fencing east side of the corridor, Harvard Street Bridge, um, the interlocking I talked about earlier uh, for the commuter rail, um, small retaining wall down on this side. This is the entrance into the station, and you'll see uh, this is very tight. You can see the Bergen Avenue path on the right. You can see the proposed sound walls, which is both retaining wall and sound wall on top of it. Again, the, the tallest walls on the project, uh, we duck underneath the station that came out. Uh, we're going uh, back, uh, we turned around real quick, and we're going back to uh, <laughs> the wall square. Uh, again, some smaller retaining walls with fences uh, down through this section. We have a little cantilevered section down through here. Uh, this is uh, the existing stockade fence uh, along uh, Powder House. This is the new traction power substation on the right and the station on the left, and I think that's the end of our train ride for the night, John, yep. right?